Makisa Lease Administration is a holistic lease management, accounting, and reporting solution designed to support regulatory compliance with IFR 16 and ASCA 42. The solution empowers you with the ability to consolidate your global lease portfolio, gain strategic insight into financial data, and streamline lease accounting operations. After logging in, the first screen you see is the landing page for your master lease agreements. From here, you can quickly search, access, and manage your entire list of lease contracts. Using the dynamic filter, you can quickly view the list of active contracts currently in the system. From the menu, you can manage your lease contracts by uploading data, triggering actions, or viewing the audit log. This interface provides a high degree of accessibility. Easy navigation helps users find what they're looking for and take any actions required in under three clicks. You can also view critical alerts in the Action Center, which allows you to easily navigate to contracts that require attention or action. For example, if I'm an accountant looking to execute contract approvals, I can look at the Action Center and immediately pull up a list of the contracts I need to review and approve. The list and information visible to you is limited or expanded based on the role assigned to you. The level of access is provided by your administrator. The solution is designed to leverage data from your existing finance and accounting systems. Here, we are looking at a master lease agreement. Think of this as an umbrella agreement for multiple lease contracts. This is where we define the fields for reporting and set up the hierarchy of the lease. The solution allows you to upload any number of documents, tables, or exhibits associated with a lease contract. This can help eliminate the amount of manual entry and redundancy. After uploading your documents, the solution allows you to data tag and add comments to fields including key terms, dates, and signatures within the document to facilitate faster navigation and accelerate the auditing and approval process. After the lease has been structured, different types of terms and conditions can be added. Each of the terms can include both lease and multiple non-lease amounts. Once the terms and conditions are finalized, the lease will go through the review workflow in order to get classified and approved. Nikisa Lease Administration provides a contract summary and a recommended classification based on the Bright Line test. You will be able to override and determine the lease classification manually. Contracts need to be reviewed and approved by an assigned user before the contract can be activated. This is to ensure validity and correctness. Parallel ledger functionality can be leveraged to maintain multiple accounting standards. During and after the approval process, the user can access different financial schedules within the solution for both IFRS or US GAAP. From here, users can easily toggle between standards. Different financial schedules are available for the user to access depending on the type of information required. This includes a lease liability amortization schedule, total payments, assets, and many more. Once the assets have been capitalized, the solution allows you to view more details about each unit. You are able to generate postings for invoices and accruals within the solution by scheduling them. The solution allows you to view the periods that have been posted and the ones that are currently open. The user is able to view the entries generated within the solution by clicking on the document icon. This provides item level posting details for the entry selected, including the debit and credit information, along with the account details and the dollar value of the posting. The solution allows you to manage certain events that take place throughout the lease life cycle by clicking on the menu icon and selecting the item that is appropriate. An example would be a contract that you need to terminate earlier than the expected lease end date. You can simply do so by selecting this option on the reassessment screen and further applying the required change 
which will go through the approval workflow for assessment. Various dashboards are available to analyze and drill down into your contracts by multiple criteria, including contract status, data fields, lease type, and more. Here we are able to export our disclosure reports that provide the necessary information to prepare the note disclosures required under IFRS 16 and ASC 842. The liability balances table presents a yearly summary of the current and non-current liability balances for the remaining lease term. The ROU asset roll forward disclosure table presents a yearly summary of the ROU asset for the remaining lease term and can enable users to perform a financial analysis of their lease properties.